Covering the West Bank has always had its challenges for Palestinian and Israeli journalists. But since the October 7 Hamas terror attack and Israel's counteroffensive, conditions are increasingly dangerous. It's dangerous for all the journalists, not only for Al Jazeera journalists. But it seems that we are paying the high price because we are very active and we're trying to cover everything inside the Gaza, even in the dangerous areas. Some journalists say reporting on the military operations by either side has always been restricted. In general, it's, it's challenging to cover uh, military operations in the West Bank in general, even before October 7th. Uh, especially for, for Palestinian journalists, but also for Israeli journalists. The Israeli journalists can hardly go into um, areas that are controlled by the Palestinian Authority. Reporting from the West Bank possess a set of unique risks, including attacks by Israeli settlers and Israeli and Palestinian law enforcement. I, I released the stickers that I am press I am from my car because it is target for the Israeli army, and it is target for the settlers to attack any uh, uh, car for press. Before the latest conflict, Baker had been criticized for his activism and anti-Israel comments. The Israeli government denies targeting journalists. A Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson told VOA via email that almost half of the journalists killed were actually terrorists. But the media watchdog, the Committee to Protect Journalists, has confirmed over 85 journalists killed in the first four months of the war, nearly all Palestinian. Free movement has also decreased in the region with checkpoints and restrictions on access in the West Bank. They targeting the Palestinian journalists, they were targeted also, targeting also his family and they were complicated the life for them. Some Palestinian journalists are setting up emergency plans to help teams working under conflict conditions. For Israeli journalists, however, the focus is on the hostages Hamas still holds and the terror attack that left 1,200 dead. For Israeli media, says Sara Gusti, there is an expectation from audiences of patriotism in their coverage. I can tell you that the audience uh, really want the journalists to rally around the flag and they don't want to see any criticism. They are not open and cannot contain any human stories coming from the other side. Now they cannot contain, um, you know, too much uh, details about the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. They don't care. They don't want to hear about it. They are still very much concentrated on the, on the devastation um, after October 7th. That coverage differs from the international media. With the IDF controlling who can enter Gaza, those journalists are requesting independent access to report on the wars. Celia Mendoza, VOA News, Jerusalem.